San Antonio. This is Raw for the Metalworks. We are, yes, living the dangerous life out here on Roosevelt at the Underground Club. And the only reason why is for a band out of Dallas that really is bringing brutality to a new level. I have with me Jason and Dan of the band Within Chaos. How are you crazy guys doing tonight? Oh, we're rocking, man. This place is rad. They got a bunch of food and <laughs> full. We're ready to rip it up, though, dude. Cool, cool. Yeah. What about you, man? Oh, I'm here to check you guys out. I'm here to have a killer time. Yeah, this, this town's great, man. We're having a blast, dude. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. seriously, man. Danny Boy, how you doing? Doing good, man. Just hanging out. Drinking good. some beers. It's good to see you guys in town. Um, you know, like I said, my guys and I have been listening to the record, your new record, which just dropped on the 23rd of October. Virulent San Antonio, if you don't have it, go out there to your Tell me a little bit about uh, the, the roots of this band. Uh, man, you know, we started out as kids listening, you know, like like everybody listens to old Metallica and stuff, dude, and it just the, the metal hits you in the in the head and it makes the hair grow up in the, you know, the back of your neck and it just drives you to want to do it, you know? And that's that's basically how we did it, man. Just uh, wanted to pump some more drilling, I guess. Since when, though, Jason? Uh, well, me me and Travis, our drummer, we've been jamming together since we were kids. We've been to, uh, together for about 14 years. Uh, Danny's been with us for about five now, and uh, it really didn't start coming together until Danny got in our band. You know, that's a true story, man. I feel like we're a really powerful trio when it comes to writing and stuff. Jim Jim does a lot with us too, man. He's been with us for about three years, but uh, I really feel like uh, you know me, Travis, and Danny. Um, what we got going on is it's it's something really sacred to us in between us, man. It's like a triangle of, of uh, energy when we're in the jam room jamming together and stuff, man. It's just the stuff just comes out and we just like he said, man, we just kind of lock the door and just lock ourselves in there and just just tear it up for I mean ten hours at a time, you know. Holy smokes! That ain't no kidding, you know. I mean, really. And for the people out there, maybe who for the first time hearing the name within chaos, how would you describe the vibe, Dan? What are you guys bringing to the table? Old school metal, man. I mean, we really, I mean, we grew up listening to, you know, stuff like Metallica and Death, you know, DRI, that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, we still listen to a lot of new stuff that comes out now, you know, so it's just really, it's a mix of all kinds of heavy music, man. And the CD that just dropped, um, obviously, is that your debut demo? But obviously you guys had demos before that in the Dallas metal scene. Right, we put out uh, a couple of things independently, actually under a different name even. And uh, this is actually our, our debut, really. Cool, cool. Well, Verilent is definitely a kick-ass CD. Uh, you know, you guys are really maintaining the, the tradition of what Dallas metal is, especially with, you know, the Pantera guys really solidifying the foundation for that scene. But, um, you know, you guys are bringing some heavy riffs and things uh, like that. What's the reception been like? Uh, how do you feel now that the record is officially out? It's been great, man. I mean, we're proud of it, you know. We we worked really hard and really long on it, so, you know, it's it's been doing really well, so. And I think you guys really have a lot to boast about because, um, like I said, I, I found out about you by my a, a, pub, a friend publicist of mine in L.A., and uh, you guys have a really solid, legitimate record deal with Koch Records. Tell us a little bit about that. How did that happen? And, and I think you guys really should feel fortunate and happy and accomplished because not many Texas bands can say that. We got really, really lucky to, to be right at the right spot at the right time. Scott Givens, our in-air guy, uh, it's a guy, you know, he helped Sepultura get where they are. He, you know, helped Machine Head get where they are. He helped Ozfest get started. And, uh, you know, he left uh, Roadrunner and went to uh, some other big label. And then he went to Koch and opened up another metal division that had, didn't have metal at the time. And we were the first metal band they picked back up. So that was a very fortunate thing. So there was a big push at the, in the beginning. It's like they wanted to set an example. And we felt really lucky and really fortunate, like you said, to, to be that band, you know. Jay, tell, share a little bit of the technical details because there's people out there who always like to like hear about like who recorded did you CD? Uh, where did you record it at? Uh, things like that because, I mean, my guys and I were on the truck on the way over here listening to the CD and it sounds so <laughs> fat. Thanks, man. Uh, well, we, we went to a guy uh, back home who is just an independent guy, TLA Studios, and uh, we were going to go totally with Ben Shiggle, uh, who did the Chimera right. Records and, right. and that guy. Uh, right. We were going to let him retract it and everything, but uh, our RV kept breaking down on us. We kept having problems, <laughs> so we couldn't get there. So we just took what we had. <laughs> And we, we just we ran out of time and we were running out of time so we sent it to Ben. Destiny. <laughs> and you know, but luckily it was it was pretty tight. We did some pretty good takes on it, but it was like the fourth time we had recorded the album. So we were like, oh god dang man, we're ready for this thing to get over. So we kinda we felt I felt like we rushed it, but at the same time I felt like it was a lot of it was our best takes. Uh, and then we sent it to Ben Shiggle and he just kinda like took this thing that we had and made it into a real thing. You know? So did he like mix it? He mixed it and mastered it. 
Sweet, sweet. He, I mean, compared to what we had, I mean, we thought it sounded good. But when, when we got it back from Ben, we were like, dude, that's us. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we were really happy to have him do it. Sounds great, man. I can't wait. Uh, right. He's going to be doing our next record, by the way. You guys um, have definitely been supporting uh, the record, um, having been on the road for a little while now. Uh, are you guys anticipating a break as we end out the 07? And, and then where will you be going uh, in 08? Well, hopefully everywhere. We've got a, a bunch of tours pending. Another good thing that just happened is uh, TKO, the booking agency, uh, just got a new agent from the agency group, and we happen to be one of the first bands she's picking up. So, again, you know, we kind of fell in the right place at the right time. She's going to be helping push us a real, you know, a big thing. Uh, there's some tours coming up. I don't really know if we should mention because it, it might not happen, and we'll look stupid if we say it. But uh, they're, they're submitting us for, to several cool tours, hopefully coming up. I mean, we did go out with uh, some buddies of ours, the Destro, and we went out a quick little run with them. Uh, we went up to New York. RV burned down. That was cool. Uh, you know, <laughs> that wasn't really cool. But uh, it's, it's. I mean, dude, you know, it's, it's like the ACDC song, man. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll, man. That ain't no kidding, dude, you know? Well, you know, it seems like all these good things are happening for you, man. And I know that good things only happen to good people. So you guys got good energy going here. I really appreciate everything you're giving to me and my people on this interview. Um, for shows like mine, uh, regionally, videos are important to us. Uh, you guys got to talk to Koch and tell him to give you a budget for a video. We want to have a video, or you guys should be doing one yourselves. Well, we're doing, uh, we're about to go in and we're going to do our song, What Doesn't Kill You, and it's going to be presented as our second single, and we're actually going to uh, pay a lot more money with uh, somebody a little bit, uh, I think probably uh, on a bigger scale to do our next video. The first one we did, uh, it, it was good, it's just not ex ex exactly what we were expecting, and as a matter of fact, we recorded the wrong song. <laughs> we were, it was actually, that wasn't our, supposed to be the song we recorded, and uh, Ties got crossed, we recorded the wrong song. So, Kachi is going to help us out, and we're going to do a second video. Well, don't forget about us here at Rob's Metal Works. Be sure to tell your people to get us the video so we can spin it uh, with this interview, all okay? right? Uh, as we end out, I don't want to keep uh, you guys too long, but as we end out, any last words for the people in San Antonio? Anything we miss? Anything you want to share about you or your brand new record? Check us out, man. I mean, we'll be back a million times, so, you know. Where can they go on the web to find out more about you, Dan? myspace.com slash within chaos chaos within chaos any last words from you Jay? yeah please pick up our record if you want everyone to help us out at all pick up our record show it to two friends ask them to pick it up and uh, shoot us an email on myspace because we love hearing from you we'll get back to you no doubt remember Sydney Tony you saw Jason and Dan of within chaos only right here on Rob's Motor Works go out there and look for their CD it's called Verilin out on the Koch record label within chaos Rocks right here on Rob's. <laughs>